Daryl's sister Alexis was the most spoiled girl in all of Roblox. She always got whatever she wanted, and if she didn't, she would flip everyone's world upside down. Daryl tried his best to help his sister, but his plan backfired, and his sister completely ruined his life. Just wait and see what happens when Daryl finds out the truth about his spoiled sister. So, man, what do you think? I got it for my birthday. Dude, this is so sick. Oh my gosh, look at the rims. Like, how fast does it go? Zero to 16, like what, two seconds? I don't know, man, you know me. I like to play it safe. I don't really drive crazy like that, but I bet it can. Dude, you're so lucky. Did your parents get this for you? I wish, but I bought it for myself. Well, happy birthday to you then. <laughs> oh, where'd you get this piece of uh, trash? The junkyard? What do you want now, Alexis? Hmm, I want the car keys. No, I'm not going to give you my keys. You don't even have a license. Well, I'm your little sister and I get whatever I want. So give me the keys. No, and I mean it, Alexis. You're not driving my car. <sighs> Whatever, I have to do everything myself around here. Alexis, stop right now! Uh, dude, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna head home before your dad finds out. Alexis, you're gonna be in so much trouble. You know how many hours I work for this? <laughs> well, it was a dumb car anyways. It's not like you deserved it. And it's not like I'm gonna get into trouble either. What is happening? What's going on? Are you two okay? Dad, look, look at what Alexis did. She took my car and she crashed it. No, that's all a lie. I, I didn't mean to. Daryl, you just bought this car. Are you seriously that irresponsible? What have I taught you? Nothing? No, Dad, I didn't even give her the keys. She stole them from me. She just took off and crashed it. And I think she actually did it on purpose. I would never do that on purpose. Dad, I don't know why he's yelling at me. I don't even have a license. I'm not even supposed to drive. That's right. You're not supposed to drive. And your brother should have known better. But dad... Shut up and go to your room and give me the car keys. I'm gonna clean up your mess. Alexis, my sweet little daughter. Oh, uh, uh, Daryl. Daryl, you too. Oh, yeah, Dad? Yeah, what's going on? Well, I'm leaving for my work trip. I've got to head into the city and do some work on the campaign. Oh, but Dad, do you have to go? And do I have to watch Alexis? Yes, Alexis, I'm very sorry. And yes, Daryl, you do have to watch Alexis. You have to take care of your little sister, got it? Uh, yeah, I got it, Dad, don't worry. All right, now here's a big, huge stack of cash, Alexis. You can do whatever you want with it. You'll need to order food for the next couple days. And I left a little extra in there so you can treat yourself to something nice. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad. I'll be very responsible with it. But Dad, what about me? I'm the older brother, shouldn't I be in charge of the money? Well, you couldn't be in charge of a simple thing like a vehicle. So no. Anyways, I'm going to get in my vehicle. I got to go. Goodbye, Alexis, my sweet angel. And bye, Daryl. Bye, Dad. <laughs> oh, my God. This is actually a lot of money. Alexis, just hand me 20 so I can order some lunch. Ugh, Daryl, shut up. It's my money. Dad gave it to me so I can do whatever I want with it. Dad left that money for both of us. Well, if he gave it to the both of us, why is it in my hands? It's not like he gave you any money. Whatever, I've had enough of this, all right? I'm just gonna go in my room and play video games. Leave me alone. Aw, boo, poor Daryl. Hey, Daryl, I need you to take me to the store right now. Seriously, Alexis, for what? Well, I need to go to the store to buy some things, and you're going to take me now. Alexis, I already cleaned your room, I did your laundry, and I did the dishes just so you don't have to. Now I have to take you to the store? What else do you need? Wow, do you want a medal or something? It's not like cleaning is that big of a deal, Daryl. God, stop whining. Well, I'm only doing it anyway, so you don't call Dad and tell on me. Well, if you don't take me to the store, I will call Dad. I'm not taking you until you tell me what we're even going for. Fine, if you have to know, I need to buy 20 new iPhones. 20 iPhones for what? How much money did dad leave you with? That's none of your concern. Now get in the car and take me to the store. You know what? No, I'm not. That's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. Fine, then you know what? I'm going to tell dad that you're being mean to me and won't let me do anything. 
You're impossible, Alexis. You know what? Fine. Go ahead. Call dad. I'm going to go hang out with Connor. See if I care. Daryl cannot get away with saying no to me. He's going to regret it, and I'll be sure of it. Oh, man, this party's totally sick, isn't it? Yeah, man, thanks for bringing me here. It's really helping me clear my mind with all this stuff going on at home. Dude, I totally don't blame you. Your sister is the most spoiled girl I've ever met in my life. Yeah, I know. She acts like she owns the place. She has my dad wrapped around her finger, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, dude, totally. But now we're at a party, so legit, don't talk about it anymore. Just think about anything else. Anything else or anyone else? Look, man, it's Heather. You know I've had a crush on her for, like, ever now, man. Oh, yeah. Heather's, like, totally cool. And, like, really pretty, too. You should go talk to her, man. Uh, I don't know. That's not my thing. Come on, dude. Do it. Do it. Go talk to Heather. Uh, okay, 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 fine. Just stop that chant, please. Everyone's gonna hear you. <laughs> All right. Come on, dude. You got this. Uh, hi. Um, Heather, it's, uh, it's me, Daryl. Oh, hi, Daryl. What's up? Uh, yeah, not much. Uh, but, uh, cool party, huh? Look at all this stuff going on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just pretty cool. I don't think it's, like, that cool. Like, yeah. Daryl! Oh, no, Alexis, what's going on? You need to come home right now and make me cupcakes. Alexis, not right now. I'm in the middle of something. Oh, wait. Is this Heather? The one that you have a crush on? Uh, no, no. Uh, she, she's mishearing things, Heather. Alexis, knock it off. Ha, Heather, did you know that he still wets the bed and he still sleeps with a binky? You, you probably don't want to be his girlfriend. He's so weird. Oh, my God. Daryl, is that true? No, no, none of it's true. You know what, Alexis? I'm done with this. I'm out of here. You ruin everything for me. I can't believe this. Alexis takes any little thing I look forward to life and she completely ruins it. I can never just have anything nice. <laughs> oh, look at Daryl crying. Do you want your binky? Wah, 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 wah. Alexis, enough. You embarrass me in front of everyone, including Heather. Do you not see what your actions do to other people? No, and you know what? I saved you a bullet anyways. Heather is way too pretty for you. Alexis, that hurts. Why do you want to hurt me? What have I ever done to you? Uh, can we stop talking about this? Look, I came to get you for an actual real reason. Can you go make me cupcakes? No, never. Not after tonight. <laughs> no? So you're not going to make me cupcakes? No, I'm not making you cupcakes after what you've done. I want you in that kitchen and making me cupcakes or I'm going to destroy the house and tear it to the ground! Really? You're going to destroy the house? Me and you both know that you wouldn't even do that. Oh, yeah? Really? Is that a challenge? Do you want to see what I could do? Because you haven't seen anything yet! What I want you to do is to leave me alone. Stop bothering me! I'm so sick and tired of Alexis. <laughs> she treats me like trash. And it's to the point where I'm actually starting to feel like it. Whoa, it's true. Look, Daryl's crying like a little baby. <laughs> Finn, what are you doing here? Dude, I was at the party and I saw everything. Chad put it on Insta Live and like, he's a big influencer. So like millions of people saw it. They keep commenting how funny it is. <laughs> Look at that poor guy. Finn, I already have enough going on, okay? Just knock it off. I'm not gonna knock it off, but I am gonna knock you down! Oh, hey! Finn, what are you doing? Oh, Heather! I just saw you push Daryl down to the ground. What is wrong with you? Well, Daryl was being, like, super annoying, and, like, I just wanted to, like, you know, teach him a lesson. And also, I figured he'd cry, and it makes me laugh when he cries. Well, the only annoying person here right now is you, Finn. What? What? Heather? Finn, you know what? Just go home. Or guess what? I'll stop tutoring you in English. But you know I have to pass that to stay on the lacrosse team! 
Well, if you know any better, Finn, then go home. Ugh, fine! Uh, hey, are you okay? Yeah, no, no, well, yeah, of course. I'm totally fine. I had everything under control. Really? Daryl, you just got pushed to the ground, and it kind of looks like you were crying. Okay, fine, but you know what happened to me tonight. I got completely embarrassed. Most of the things my sister said about me aren't even true. Yeah, exactly. They aren't true. I never believed it personally because it seems like a little sister thing to do. Wait, really? You didn't believe it? Like, at all? No, of course not. It all sounded like lies anyways. Like, who actually still wets their bed at this age? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I guess I was just really embarrassed. Yeah, you totally were. <laughs> it was kind of cute. But uh, look, I'll see you at school later, all right? Yeah, I'll see you at school on Monday. Bye, Daryl. Bye, Heather. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did she just say I was cute? Now, did she say I was cute or did she say I looked cute? Oh my God. Everything is gone. What happened to my house? <laughs> oh, Daryl. <laughs> look at your face. Oh, it's great. Alexis, did you do this? I told you that I would do this and you didn't believe me. You're crazy. Oh, wait, hang on, I have a call. Oh, hi, Dad. Alexis, sweetheart, darling, my perfect little angel. Oh, it is great to hear your voice. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Dad? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. I'm actually going to be heading home soon. The campaign is off to a great start. Your father's going to be mayor one day, I tell you. Oh, yay, Dad, I'm so happy for you. Oh, please come home quicker. I want you to take me shopping. Oh, yes, darling, of course. We have to celebrate. I'll buy you anything you want. Yay. Okay, well, I'll see you soon. Dad's coming back soon. <laughs> oh, no, what am I going to do? Welcome to Happy Burger, where we're the happiest people on earth. What do you want? A large number five, extra fries, strawberry milkshake? Hurry up. What do you want? I'm not here to order anything, sir. I'm actually seeing if I can probably find a new job. Well, we're not hiring, Bozo. Well, you have a hiring sign out front, and I really need the job. Oh, we do? <sighs> That's right. Glad take down the sign, idiot. Yeah, I guess we are hiring. Um, what do you even need this job for? Do you have any idea what this job is? Yeah, it's a burger place, and it's a place where I can hopefully get some more money. Uh, my house was completely destroyed, and I need any cent I can get. Why do I feel like I've heard this before? You know what, idiot? Join the club, okay? My houses have been destroyed countless times. Countless times! That's what you get for being in this universe. Okay, oh goodness, thank goodness I'm not late. Oh, look, you cannot hire this man. What? What's going on? What's happening here? Uh, no, no, nothing, nothing, sir. Uh, just don't, don't listen to her at all. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Just let's continue with our interview. Don't try to cover this up. Look, sir, he is an awful, awful employee. He works for me, but he's absolutely awful. I do not want you to carry the burden of him. There's no way I work for her. Look at her. She's younger than me. I'm an entrepreneur. Wow, impressive. And I knew there was something fishy about you from the start. Right when you wouldn't order the number five. Uh, I mean, if you give me the job, I'll take the number five. Just please, I need the job. No, shut up. You're awful and disgusting. You shouldn't even be in this restaurant. You're going to make the customers sick. <sighs> Whatever then, uh... I'm out of here. <laughs> ah, this is so funny. Yeah, run away, loser. Bye. Get out of my store. Bye. <laughs> the look on his face was priceless. So sad and depressed. I know. Isn't it hilarious? You know what, kid? You're actually kind of awesome. I like your attitude. Hey, uh, the ice cream machine, we usually tell people it's broken, but it's really not. You want some ice cream? <gasps> oh, my God. Yes, here's $20. Oh my gosh, I love money. <laughs> but make it 25. Oh, Dad, hi, welcome home. How did your trip go? <laughs> Alexis, what happened to the house? Our home is completely destroyed. Well, you can ask Daryl. It was all his fault. 
Dad, it's it's not what you think, okay? Look, I know it's gonna be hard to believe, but you have to believe me, okay? Alexis did all of it, okay? She's behind all of this. When I was gone, she 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 tore the entire place down. It was all her. Daryl, do you think I I know, I know, I know it sounds crazy, but but you have to believe me. Please just believe me. You want me to believe that your little sister is capable of destroying our entire house? You seriously kick me for a fool. No, no, Dad, it's the truth. It's the, it's the truth, I promise. Dad, don't listen to him. You know how much he lies. I don't even know how to microwave a toaster strudel. How could I do this? And now you made your sister cry. Does that feel good, Daryl? Destroying your family and making them cry? Daryl wanted me to cover it up because he had a party in there and that's what happened. He did what? He had a party? No, no, none of this is true. Dad, I would never do that. I cannot believe I raised such a disappointment. Well, darling, it took a lot of work over the past couple days, but we finally did it. We have a new home. What do you think? I love it. It's so nice and pretty. And do I really get my own room with my own bathroom and walk-in closet? Well, uh, the walk-in closet's not there yet, but I'll have a contractor come out on Monday and get one put in for you. Oh, thanks, Dad. But, um, I wanted to talk to you about Daryl. I don't really feel safe with him living with us. After what happened with our old house and... Him just being overall disrespectful and rude to you. I just don't think that he should be living with us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I totally see your point. Guys, what what are you saying? Are you just going to kick me out on the streets? Well, your sister gets what she wants. And if she wants you kicked out of the house and living on the streets, so be it. Yes, that is what I want. Yeah, so uh, sorry, Daryl. You can't live with us anymore. Seriously? You're my dad. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. You're old enough. You'll figure it out. <laughs> Bye, Daryl. Dad, you need to stop listening to Alexis, okay? She's spoiled. She's a complete liar. And look at her. She's laughing at me. She's maniacal. Uh, yeah, great. Listen, sir, you cannot be on our property. If you don't leave in the next five seconds, I'm calling the police. You, you'd call the police on your own son? Well, I'm going to start counting to five. One, two. Fine. If you don't want me here, then, then I'll go. Yeah, okay, great, go. Come on, sweetheart, let's go inside and find out where your new walk-in closet's gonna go. Yay! <laughs> I can't believe this. What just happened? <laughs> now I'm homeless and, and I have nowhere to go. But you know what? I'm gonna prove them wrong. I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna get my own place. I'm gonna be better than they ever could be. Oh, what a long day. Work's been tough lately, but hey, at least I'm thankful that I finally found a good paying job. And now look, I mean, I'm living on my own and this place is actually really nice too. I got really lucky getting it. I just wish things were different with family. I haven't even talked to them in, what is it, a year now? So hey, maybe my life is just better off without them and it's not like they control the city. I can finally just do what I want. I'm gonna stop thinking about this. Uh, I'm gonna go watch some TV. I am Chet Flenderson bringing you breaking news. We officially have a brand new mayor in the city, Mayor Edward Higgins. Mayor what? Dad? He finally did it, just like he always wanted. That's right. Mayor Higgins is going to be great for this city. His campaign was incredible. But now on to more breaking news. We have a brand new it girl in town, and it is actually the mayor's daughter, Alexis. She's basically a celebrity at this point, and now she's officially called the world's richest first daughter in history. Wow, that's impressive. Oh no, this isn't good. Well, that was a real busy day of work, but all that work pays off. Look at this sweet car. Oh man, I love this thing so much. I've been working so hard to get it. I can't believe it's finally mine. Oh, hello, random citizen. Oh, I love your car. Can I have your keys? Uh, what? Because I want your car. Please give me the keys now. <laughs> but this car's mine. Alexis, you can't just do that. Well, I'm the mayor's daughter. I can do anything. So give me the keys and the car. And if you don't, then I'll throw you in jail. <laughs> what? You can't just do that just because I won't give you my car. Do you really want to test it out? Give me the car keys. Well, well, fine. But please be careful. She's brand new. Ugh, don't tell me what to do. 
Now get out of my way, you gross citizen. Ugh. Oh yeah, also, I think I should just warn you, I don't have a license. <laughs> well, I've got total deja vu right now. Connor, I just saw everything. What just happened? Dude, it was your sister. I can't believe this. Wow, well, here it is, City Hall. I can't believe Dad actually did it. But that's besides the point. I need to talk to them and get everything figured out. Alexis just stole Connor's car, and that's not okay. She is out of control, and she needs to be stopped. Uh, hey, hey, Dad. Well, hello, citizen. Hi, hey, welcome to City Hall. Yes, I know, it's okay. It seems as though I'm a father figure to everybody in this city. Dad, no, it's me. It's your son, Daryl. Dar- what? Who? Oh, Daryl, Daryl. Wow, hi, yeah, uh, nice to see you. What can I do for you? Look, Alexis, she's out of control. She's just going around on the streets acting like she owns the place. Well, truth be told, Daryl, she kind of does. She's the mayor's daughter. <laughs> well, Dad, she needs to be stopped. She can't just treat all the city citizens like they're a bunch of pawns on her chessboard. What are you even talking about? What is chess? Listen, I'm a very, very busy man. I'm a mayor now, so if there's anything else... Dad, do you even miss me? Like, I know we haven't talked in almost a year, and I've missed you guys like crazy. Like, I got a job, and I and I got an apartment, and, and I did all this just, just to make you proud. Well, I'm glad you found a place to live after you completely destroyed our family home with your dumb party. Dad, that wasn't me. Listen, the topic is still very sensitive, and I have no time to talk about it with you. So if you would not mind, I need to go do mayor things now, because I'm the mayor. Nice to see you, Daryl. Crawl back to dad. Hi, Alexis. I see you haven't changed. Actually, I have, but for the better. <laughs> you know, everyone in the city adores me. Oh, it's obvious you haven't because you're still lying. <laughs> oh, funny. But you know, I overheard you have a new apartment. Congratulations. But you know, uh, that's mine now. Uh, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is, because I asked for it, and I'm the mayor's daughter, so you're going to give it to me if I want it. I'm not like every other person here, okay? I'm not going to aid it to what you ask for. I know who you really are, and you're crazy, Alexis. I'm not going to give you what you want. Well, Daryl, if you want to be so selfish, then you can leave. Guards! Fine, then. I'm out of here. Glad to see you're still as spoiled as ever. I can't believe my sister basically runs the city. On second thought, I, I actually can believe that. But this is so outrageous, it just doesn't feel real. My life feels like this is falling apart in every aspect. But hey, I just need to keep my mind busy, go back to work, and maybe I can make enough money just to get out of this city. Hey boss, I'm in for my shift. Yeah, you're here, which makes everything pretty easy now. I gotta fire you, Daryl, I'm sorry. Wait, what? I've been working here for the past year. What do you mean you have to fire me? I've been like the best worker. Listen, the orders came from up top, okay? I gotta fire you or else the whole store shuts down. And I can't lose my job. The orders came from up top? What do you mean by that? I can't talk about confidential stuff with you, Daryl. And now you're an official past employee. So you don't have any rights here. This is outrageous. This isn't fair. Listen, kid, my hands are tied, all right? I like you. You're a great worker. You think you're funny, but you're not. But, you know, you're kind of nice to be around. But like I said, my hands are tied. I can't do nothing about it now. You got to get going. Okay, well, thanks for everything. Alexis? I warned you that not listening to me would get you into a very bad place. Are you saying that you're behind this? <laughs> oh, I bought the entire building. <laughs> So they have to listen to me. Ugh, Alexis, what is wrong with you? Do you think this is funny? Do you think this is some kind of game? This is my life we're talking about. <laughs> oh, it is funny. <laughs> you don't want to shut up and leave me alone. Stay out of my life. What do I do? I need to find a job like right now. Wait, I think Heather works here. Maybe she can get me a job. Hey, uh, Heather? 
Oh, uh, hey, Daryl, what's up? So listen, I know this is out of left field, but are you guys hiring here? Uh, I really need a job. Oh, yeah, actually we are. Are you looking to apply? Yeah, y you see, I, I totally just quit my last job. Uh, it just wasn't the right fit, you know, so I want to see if I can apply here. Oh, yeah, totally. I'll just put your name down and they'll probably call you back. Awesome. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. You can always count on me. It was great seeing you, Heather. Yeah, you too. See ya. Hi. Hi, Heather. Do you remember me at the party like a year ago? Oh, yeah, you're uh, Daryl's younger sister, right? It is actually Miss First Daughter of the Mayor to you. Mm, yeah, so uh, what do you uh, what do you want? Look, if you give Daryl a job here, I will shut this whole place down. Don't even test me. What? Why would you do that? He's your brother. Don't you want him to succeed in life? <laughs> Just listen to me, all right? And no one gets hurt. You wouldn't want to lose your job over Daryl, would you? Uh, no, I really need this job to pay for college. Then you're going to listen to me and not hire him. Got it? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, thanks. See you later, Heather. My fingers are crossed. Hopefully I get that job. I could really use it after what just happened. Now I don't even know what I'm gonna say to my landlord. I'm rent's due, and I don't even have enough. I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out to see what I can do. Hey, there he is, tenant 635. Where is my rent money? Where is it? Hey, the man that I was just about to see. Uh, yeah, uh, is there any way I could just have a little bit more time? What do I look like, a superhero that can change time? No! Rent is due today. If you don't have the rent, it's late. Listen, sir, I just lost my job, okay? I'm already in the process of trying to get a new one. I just need more time. Oh, well, now you're a jobless bum living in my apartment building, huh? Listen, loser, if you don't have the money to live here, then you don't live here, plain and simple. I need you to get out of my building. But this is my home. Not anymore. Now get out! That was it. That was all that I had left. And, and now it's gone too. I've seriously just lost everything. Oh, a notification. What's this? Alexis just bought my apartment? Are you kidding me? I need to go check this out now. Alexis? Alexis, what are you doing in my apartment? Actually, it's uh, my apartment, so I should be asking you that. Why are you in my apartment? So this was the plan, huh? I told you no at City Hall, and you got me fired, and now you just stole my apartment? You should really watch what you say. Bad things can happen when you don't give me what I want. You're the worst sister ever. No, you're the worst person ever. How can someone just do this to someone else? I'm going to get you back for this, Alexis. You're not just going to get away with taking everything from me. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see about that, won't we? Uh, here it is. Here's Connor's house. Please, please tell me he's going to let me stay here. Here goes nothing. Hey, Connor. Hey, Daryl. What's up, dude? Everything all right? You sound a bit off. Actually, man, I'm pretty bummed out. Your sister stole my car. It was the only way I could get to and from work, so I'm probably not going to have a job. Yeah, I remember when that happened. Uh, and look, I know it's probably not the best timing, but hey, I really need a place to stay. If I don't have a job, I can't really pay for this place. So it's like, I might be homeless too. Your sister's absolutely out of control, dude. Being around you means being around her. And that's like, bad. Is there any way that we can make this work? Well, I just need a car, dude. That's it, that's it. A light bulb just flicked on in my head. We're gonna get your car back get my car back from your sister? How are we gonna do that? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I know we can do it. I know my family more than anyone. I'll get your car back, dude, I promise. Oh, dude, I don't know, I have a bad feeling about this. Shh, 
Connor, be quiet. Just follow my lead and we'll be okay. Nah, dude, we're gonna get caught. Your sister's gonna do something crazy. This isn't a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna get caught if you keep talking that loudly. Look, we can get away with it, okay? Just stay calm. Uh, hey, hold right there. City Hall is off limits at this time of night. And oh, Daryl, well, well, well. Wait, you, you know who I am? Oh yeah, all of us security guards know everything about you. You should not be here ever. You are banned from this location. What, I'm banned from who? Orders come from up top, okay? And I follow orders. What, but just, 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 uh, um, uh, d d Connor, get in the car. Dude, what? Just go. Hey, hey, get back here. Get back here right now. No, 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 no! Oh no, it's out of gas! Dude, your sister couldn't even fill up the tank? Wow, so disrespectful. Yeah, it's not a big shocker, but now what are we gonna do? We gotta get gas somehow. <laughs> get back here! <sighs> Did you seriously run all the way over here? No, you stupid idiot! Use your eyes! I, I, I just ran from the car! It's a long run! Well, what do we have here? <laughs> what were you trying to do? Steal my car? No, I was trying to steal this car back. You're the one that stole it. Really? Then why is everything under my name now? Yeah, yeah, seriously, man. That's not cool. Look, Daryl, I've had enough with your behavior recently. You are out of here. You are not allowed to come back into this city ever again. And if you ever take another step in here, you will be thrown in jail. Do you understand me? You can't just kick me out of a town. I live here. Well, technically you don't as I own your apartment. And because I'm the daughter of the mayor, what I say goes, and you can't do anything about it. Fine, then I'm leaving. <laughs> ah, good. Bye, Daryl. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I've never been in the woods before. There's no sense of direction in this place. It's just trees everywhere. Can't believe I got kicked out of the city. What has my life come to? Excuse me, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi, sorry. Is this your, uh, home? Well, yes, indeed it is. And you're stepping in my living room. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't I didn't know that this was your living room. Uh, but I'm I'm here because I got kicked out of the city actually. Say what now? Kicked out of the city? Y yeah, yeah, my my sister. She's just the most spoiled person I know and and she kicked me out. I'm the only person that would stand up to her and she didn't like that. Spoiled sister, you say? Hmm? Well, I can relate. I also had a spoiled sister. She was completely out of control. Yeah, tell me about it. She's the daughter of my dad and he's mayor. I'm honestly just thinking I'm never going back. I'm gonna run in one direction and, and, and forget about all of this. You can't just run away from your problems, young man. You need to face them head on. I don't know, I just feel like I keep trying and it just never works out. I think it's better if I just leave. Well, that's the mistake I made. I didn't stick up for myself. And look what happened to me. I mean, now my house is literally a spot in the woods. My spoiled sister took everything from me. Don't let your sister do the same to you. Oh, oh, and don't forget, avocados are liars. Wait, what? A avocados? What does that have to do with anything? They're liars, I tell you. Liars! Okay, uh, I think this is where the conversation ends. Uh, thank you so much, creepy old homeless guy. I'm gonna go and, and, and fight for my city. boy, you go save your city and don't trust the avocados! Oh, there it is. There's the city. They set up an entire security checkpoint. They really want to keep me out. I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe I'll just try lying. It seems to work for Alexis, so I mean, maybe it'll work for me. Uh, hi. Nope. Sorry, nope. Can't go any further without identification. Oh, well, I'm actually, uh, I'm late for my shift. I'm another security guard, and I'm trying to look for my outfit. Really? 
No, that's interesting. What's your name? Beryl. My my name is Beryl. Beryl, huh? That's interesting. Well, I didn't see you at the security guard meet and greet the other night, so I think you're lying directly to my face. And I find that very disrespectful. Oh, yeah, that's because I had a stomach ache. Uh, I, I had, I ate some uh, bad avocados, uh, so I couldn't go. You are an absolute awful liar. I know who you are, Daryl. You stay right here. I have to make a phone call. Oh, God, I'm out of here. Wait, where'd you go? Hey, get back here. Oh, no. This is not good. Yes, Mr. Mayor. I'm very sorry, but um, we have a bit of a problem. I can't believe this. How did he go back into town? And how did the guards not stop him? Uh, you know what? Let me just pull out my phone. There we go. And go live. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yes. No, it's me, Alexis. Yes. <laughs> What I have to say is my brother, Daryl, I know, yucky, right? He's back in town. I have now put a reward out there. So if you find him, you get all of this money. Do you understand? Bring my brother to me in a one piece. He has to go through the justice system. Okay, thank you so much, sweet citizens. XOXO, mwah, bye. You know what? There's only one person that would help my yucky older brother. <laughs> oh, hi, Heather. Guess what? I have a surprise for you. Uh, hey, Alexis. What is it? <laughs> You're fired. What? You can't just come in here and say I'm fired. Uh, actually, yeah, I can. I'm the mayor's daughter. Remember? Whatever I say goes. And now, leave. I gotta keep my head down. I don't know where to go or who to go to. All I know is I can't be caught. And I have to stop Alexis. Not just for me, but for literally everyone that lives here. She's totally out of control, and I'm sure almost everyone here is miserable. Ah, Daryl, haha, <laughs> it's you. Oh, I'm the luckiest man alive. Why is that? Are you gonna give me a job back? There's a bounty out on your head. Anybody that brings you to the mayor's office gets $10,000. I'm gonna be rich, haha. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you in, you pathetic loser. You're not even supposed to be in this city. Hold on, hold on. Let's just take a second to talk about this real quick. Oh, okay, you wanna talk about how much money I'm gonna make and what I'm gonna spend it on? I'm gonna buy a bowl and maybe some big, huge sushi dinner, haha. <laughs> and I'm also probably gonna buy the building back I lost. You cost me my job, and you're gonna pay for this. Leave him alone! Ow! Get lost before I punch you again. Fine. Oh, well, that really hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Heather, uh, thank you. Uh, don't worry about it. It's no problem. I know that you're not supposed to be in town right now, but I kind of came here to help you. Your sister is going crazy right now. She just fired me for my own job. No, that crosses the line. O okay, I've had it. We need to take her down. Oh, sweetheart, darling, how are you doing? Is everything okay? I was just wondering, can I have, like, just a little extra money to maybe buy another helicopter? Buy another helicopter? Alexis, what happened to your last one? Well, I might have crashed it by accident, but it's not my fault. There was a bird in the way, and honestly, that helicopter was ugly. I want a pink one this time. I'm sorry, Alexis, but uh, I can't really be spending all this much money on helicopters and sports cars and cute little animals and clothes and stuff. No, are you kidding me, Dad? Please, I want it. I want the helicopter. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I don't want to see you sad. I don't want to see you cry. Here, here's about a $300,000. Here, this is for you. Oh, Dad, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, sweetheart. So, uh, what do you say? You and I go out to dinner in just a little bit? Oh, no, Dad, I have to go. I have to go spend this money. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye, Alexis. I feel like this happens all the time now. She just takes money from me and leaves. She doesn't even spend time with me. Maybe she just doesn't even care. 
Okay, Daryl, so what's your plan? Uh, about that, I don't really fully have one yet. You don't have a plan? Not exactly, but I'm I'm planning on heading to the city hall and, and confronting my sister. Okay, and realistically, Daryl, where is that gonna get you? Confronting your sister, especially in the state that you're in right now, it's not a great idea. You need some sort of evidence or something that can prove that you aren't the bad one. Huh. I didn't think about that. Oh, Daryl! I thought I said that you weren't allowed in the city. Looks like someone's going to jail. Yeah, and it's gonna be you after everyone finds out how you've been treating this place. And it's people. Like, they'll listen to you. You have no proof whatsoever. <laughs> now, I would love to stay here and chat, but I have other things to do, so the guards will be on their way soon to escort you both to jail. See you later, losers. I can't believe her. She's such a brat. Yeah, she is. But you know what? She's kind of right. We can't do anything without proof. Yeah, I know. I guess we just gotta find a way to get it. Okay, I've been here before. The security in here is top notch, okay? Just be quiet. Now, all we need to do is find a spot for the camera to be. Yeah, I'm glad that we were able to find this camera equipment. Me too. And all we need to do is just record her being, you know, herself, and everyone will see it. Um, hi, y'all. What be going on here while we trespass them at City Hall, y'all? Nothing. I came here to complain about, uh, the roads. She hates streets. Uh, uh, just, just the, the concrete. It's just, it's just, uh, it sucks. Hold on a second. I don't know many faces, names, places, or things. But one thing I do know is that you is Darum's, right? You the mayor daughter's brothers, y'all. No, no, my name's not Daryl. It's, uh, it's Jonathan. Yeah, and my name's Jonathan. Yeah, this is Jonathan. Uh, he's my husband. Ha, <laughs> Okay, y'all, you cannot put a fast one on Asa from Rufus, y'all, okay? Now, tell me what be going on. Why is you trespass them? Okay, okay, just, just look. Just, just hear me out. My sister is totally spoiled. She's a total brat, and she has the city wrapped around her finger. Okay, yes, that's a fact, y'all. Wait, what? You believe us? Oh, yes. The daughter of the mayors is absolutely wild, y'all. Okay? I was having a burritos the other day at lunch, and she came up and just took it from me. She took my burritos, y'all! Oh, no. That's horrible. Uh, but an anyway, but listen, we're just trying to stop her, okay? So let me help, y'all. I'm good at stopping criminals and things like that and saving the day. Wow. Thank you so much. You're probably the only nice person we've met. Um, actually, I bet that's a fact. Okay. Now, let's go stop your sisters, y'all. Yes. Okay, now where is the mayor's daughters? Oh, there she is right there, y'all. Ugh, all people are gross. Oh, miss, why are you being so harmful to me? <laughs> Ugh, just get out of my face. You disgust me. Ugh. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mayor's daughter, lady. Hi, um, I'm Asa from Rufus, and what you just did right there was not nice, y'all. What do you mean, and why do you care? Because I'm here to protect the streets and make sure the citizens is happy in farms, and that old lady was not happy or farms, y'all. It doesn't even matter. I'm the mayor's daughter. I can do whatever I want. Oh, that's right. Yes, I has a plans. Um, yes, Mrs. Mayor Daughters. I has a message from you from the mayor's, y'all. From the mayor? What did he want? Um, well, um, what was it, Gams? Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. He says that he has a big fancy prisms for you at the Sinem's Hall, and you need to go down there and get the prisms, y'all. What? Oh, that's great. Okay. Give me your ATV so I can go there quickly. But that's my ATVs. That's my best friends. Give me the ATV. Oh, my God. Those okay farms. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I want my ATB mix! Dad, where's my present? Dad! Dad isn't here. Daryl, what are you doing here? I came to put an end to this. <laughs> oh, really now? Well, it looks like you're the dumb one because you're in City Hall. Meaning, huh, I got 
get you. Yeah, you've got nothing, Alexis. You're the one that set all this up, huh? You kicked me out of the city and then just put a reward on my head for no reason, right? It's because I don't want you here and I want everything and you're always in the way and I hate you. Yeah, and there's nothing that I can do, right? Because everyone's gonna believe you, the sweet mayor's daughter. Yeah, because without you around, everyone will believe me and I'll get everything I want and I can get away with it. I have dad wrapped around my finger and now I have the whole city. <laughs> ah, I'm always gonna be seen as a sweet little daughter and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> nothing I can do, huh? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because what you told me, you just told across the entire city. Uh, we recorded everything on this camera, and, well, it's live to everyone watching, so... Take that, Alexis! Boom! I finally got you! Uh, 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 yeah, that's such a funny prank! Um, uh, I hate you! Dad! Dad! Daryl, what do you think you're doing here? Okay, look, I know you're mad still, but I have something to show you. Just stop for one second and look. Here, just take my phone. I, I, I can't believe my ears. She's been lying this whole time. She lied about the house and everything that's been going on in City Hall. She's been lying to me. I've been trying to tell you since the start. She's been behind everything. I'm, I'm sorry, Daryl. I, I should have listened to you. I'm not going to let Alexis get away with this. I promise you. Finally, what she deserves. Listen. After everything that's been going on, I feel awful, and I, I'd like to make it up to you. I want you to move into City Hall with me. I want us to be a family again. Really? Uh, I'd, I'd really like that, Dad. I would too, son. I've missed you a lot. But now we need to deal with your sister. Alexis, get in here now! Uh, hi, Dad. Don't hi, Dad me, little miss thing! I know everything that you've been doing. I can't believe you would lie to me. I I'm sorry? Well, you're gonna be sorry. You're grounded for a whole year. 